Introducing to you Southern Highlands, and that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. roll. Everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm Angela's sidekick, Damian Barton. And today we're going to be talking about a beautiful master plan community called Southern Highlands. But before we get started, make sure you hit that like and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. And if you're thinking about relocating to Las Vegas, I am your expert here. You can reach out to me at 702-370-5112. I've been living in Vegas for over 30 plus years. I don't even know how many years now. It's been so long. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a Vegas born, but not really. I lived here in the early um, 70s, 80s, 90s. So, I mean, pretty much I've been here for a very long time. And you're worldly, worldly too. So. Yes, exactly. Anyways, so let's get started and talk about this awesome master plan community. Southern Highlands is a 2,300-acre exclusive master plan community developed by Olympia Companies and is nestled in the southern foothills of the Las Vegas Valley. Developed between 2000 until present and once fully completed, Southern Highlands will have around 8,500 homes and 493 acres of non-residential private uses. This community offers acres of parks, trails, and recreational amenities that intertwine with local businesses and, and excellent public and private schools. There are two shopping centers set within Southern Highlands, the Southern Highlands Marketplace and Fire Station Plaza, as well as two medical centers, a private security department, an office plaza, and a fire station. You will never have to leave this community with all these amenities to choose from. Southern Highlands is among the most affluent communities in the state of Nevada. With a medium household income of 126134 and an average household net worth of 779866 Southern Highlands has over 350 custom luxury home sites. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a lot. <laughs> now we're going to talk about the neighborhoods in Southern Highlands. Housing in Southern Highlands is divided by two distinct residential areas, the villages and the estates. In the northern region of the community, the villages features family-based neighborhoods with moderately priced condos and single-family homes set upon tree-lined states. Whereas the southern region features a more upscaling setting, the Southern Highlands Golf Club, also known as the Estates at Southern Highlands, which offers exceptional home design and construction featuring custom half-acre to five-acre lots by some of Southern Nevada's top builders. The majority of the homes for sale in the States are in guard-gated or guarded communities and are surrounded by the highly acclaimed members-only 18-hole championship Southern Highlands Golf Course which is one of only four golf courses co-designed by the legendary Robert Trent Jones Sr. and his son, Robert Trent Jones Jr. The estates are the crown jewel of Southern Highlands and comprises of four luxury enclaves, Augusta Canyon, Castle Oaks, Eagles Landing, and Olympia Ridge. If you want to learn more specific details about each of these different neighborhoods, you can always go to my website at neighborhoodsinlasvegas.com, click on Southern Highlands, where it goes into better detail or great detail about each of these different specific communities. Yeah, that's for that deep dive. Yeah. So there are other guard-gated communities in Southern Highlands. You have the Bluffs, the Foothills, Royal Highlands, and Tuscan Cliffs. And they are just located uh, north of Southern Highlands Golf Course. And then there's one last community, which is Masters, which I'm not sure if it's guard gated or not, but that's all by Lennar Homes. Let's go over the amenities in Southern Highlands. First, the parks. Southern Highlands features seven beautiful and spacious parks with a host of features. The amenities include covered play areas and structures, gazebos, water features, and walking paths tennis and basketball courts, and the gorgeous Paseo hiking and biking trail that weaves through the community, two dog parks, 
let the furriest members of your family join the fun. And the, and the first park we're going to go over is the Harry B. Johnson Rose Park, or they just call it the Rose Park. And it is located at 5330 Somerset Hills Avenue. And this park is a two-acre park that features a rose garden, splash pad, which is operational from May through September, covered play structure, gazebos with barbecues, open green space, water fountains, community restrooms, and this one has a parking lot. Hey. Another park is the Goet Family Park. And this is located at 10950 Southern Highlands Parkway. And the Goet Family Park is a 3.7 acre park that features a full-size basketball court with six hoops, covered play structure, gazebo with sitting area, an open green space, water fountains, Jane's Family Water and Splash Park, and it's operational from May to September every year with community restrooms and a parking lot. And the next park is Enzalaco Park, and this is located at 5801 Shinecock <laughs> Hills, <laughs> which is kind of interesting name. And this is a 4.38 acre park that features a covered play structure, swing set, gazebo with sitting area, walking paths, open grass space, water fountains, community restrooms, and a parking lot. Another park is the Jimmy Pettyjohn Jr. Park, and this is located at 11322 Southern Highlands Parkway. And this park is fully gated with one acre that features a covered play structure, a swing set, gazebo with sitting area, open green space, water fountains, and community restrooms. Now this one does not have parking, so it's very hard to get to. It's basically a community park where you live in the community and you walk to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Another awesome park in Southern Highlands is the Olympia Sports Park. And this is located at 4885 Star Hills Drive. And this park features a fully lighted soccer fields, lighted full-size basketball court with six hoops, playground structures, workout stations, water play area that is also operational from May through September, a hilltop hiking trail, shaded family picnic areas, community restrooms, and a parking lot. Mm -hmm. Another park is the Somerset Hills Park, located at 10717 Valencia Hill Street, and this park is 6.33 acres that features a water spray park and is operational from May to September. It has two lighted tennis courts, gazebos with barbecues, covered play structure, swing set, open green space, walking path, community restrooms, and on-site street parking. And the last park in Southern Highlands is the Stonewater Park, and this is located at 11501 Goet Golf Drive, and this is a seven acre park that's fully gated and features a large grass amphitheater area. There's nothing else around it, but just that big grass amphitheater. Also in Southern Highlands, they have two dog parks. You have the Cactus Jones Dog Park and the Fire Station Dog Park. Let's talk about golf. And living in Southern Highlands means one of the nation's top private golf courses is just steps away from your house. Co-designed by the late legendary golf architect Robert Trent Jones Sr. and his son, Robert Trent Jones Jr., the Southern Highlands Golf Course takes advantage of the surrounding mountain terrain to set up exciting shots on finely manicured fairways with picturesque water features. This 18-hole championship par 72 course covers 230 acres with its impressive length of 7,510 yards. Yeah, it's a beautiful golf course, and um, if you can see the drone footage from it, it was breathtaking. Mm. Now, last, the Southern Highlands Golf Club. Southern Highlands 13,000 square foot clubhouse offers an elegant atmosphere for members and guests. Inside the clubhouse is a private spa, and members of the spa also have access to its 4,000 square foot fitness center and classes. 25 meter lap pool, outdoor pool with private cabanas, a children's pool, oversized jacuzzi, children's play area, lighted tennis, and basketball courts. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty amazing, this community. And when we were driving through it, I was telling Damien, you don't even have to ever leave this neighborhood because there's so many shopping already there, medical centers, 
grocery stores, restaurants, you name it, you have it right in that area. So mm -hmm. it's a very nice area and it doesn't feel like you're in Las Vegas. And a lot of people from California like living in Southern Highlands because of the close, close proximity to the freeway and easy access to driving to California, mm -hmm. right? Um, and we did a lot of nice footage of, of this community, the parks, you know, we had fun enjoying uh, exploring it, right? We did, very much so. Let us know in the comments if you live in Southern Highlands and what your thoughts are, or if you are thinking about buying in Southern Highlands. Most importantly, you know, if you are interested in relocating to Las Vegas and want to buy a home in Southern Highlands, or if you want to sell, you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a link to a buyer or seller form down in the description below. But most importantly, make sure you hit that like button. Definitely. And subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about all the different neighborhoods here in the Las Vegas Valley. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next video.